Hey everyone, James Grandstaff here. All right, so what I want to do in this video is show you how to install a two-step opt-in box on your website. And the cool thing about this particular method that I'm going to show you is that it'll blend right in with your site. You can actually link any image that you have. So if you wanted to have a custom image built that says opt-in now or get more information, uh, you can have this uh, image blend right in with your site. Someone clicks it, they opt in, and they're on your email list. So what I'm doing right here on this page, this is my blog, and I'm going to show it to you in action. So if I click over here on this banner, this landing page here is basically what I use for my Facebook ads. And I know it's not the best looking landing page, and it could have some other you know, text on here or whatnot, but it's just a video. And what you're seeing down below, this is actually just an image. It's just a, an image that I copy and pasted from within uh, my lead pages account. That's the system that I use uh, to build these two-step opt-in boxes. So when someone clicks right here, opt-in box pops up, they enter their name, email, and they get the free thing, or you can redirect them wherever you want based on your autoresponder or your email service provider settings. So that's it. They click, boom, they opt in. The cool thing is, like I said, you can customize this. You could use any image you want. If you had your designer create a custom image, they would click this, and you would offer something for free, whether it be a report or a video or just more information or a brochure. Uh, so this is a really great uh, method to do that because it doesn't really mess with the design of your site and you don't have those ugly looking opt-in boxes on your site. Those are kind of old school and this two-step process actually increases conversions. So let's head over to lead pages. Uh, lead pages, here's my template here, or I'm sorry, um, my back office. And there's templates and I'm not going to bore you with all this stuff. I'll just give you the quick lowdown and then show you how to create the lead boxes. Uh, lead pages is cool because they just they do give you all sorts of templates that you can just edit, plug in your email service provider or your webinar. Like they're just fantastic service, super quick and easy to get up and running. And then when you you know create your templates, then you go into lead pages up here, and it'll show you all the templates that you have uh, created. I actually deliver my videos through this, uh, thank you pages, uh, different types of modules. I mean, I, I basically use all of or use lead pages for a lot of my internet marketing stuff. But the lead boxes is really, really cool. So you'll notice I have one here called JG Blog. It's received uh, 2,600 and 2600 visits, 1,578 leads, 60% opt-in rate. So now what that is, is the people that have actually clicked the button, the pop-up comes up like you saw a minute ago, and they've opted in. So I'm going to show you how to create one of these. So we're going to go create a new lead box. And I'll just select, you know, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Yes, count me in. And then here it is. See, over here to the left, you'll notice that uh, Lead Pages integrates with all sorts of different systems that you have. You have to turn on the system that you're using and, and uh, connect it through the API. In this case, I use Aweber. Actually, in this case, I'm going to use Aweber copy and paste. So what I would do right here now is paste my autoresponder form code from my email service provider, and then I would hit Customize this form. Of course, it's not going to let me do that now because I, have, uh, I don't have any code in there. Um, but once you get that all set up and integrated, then basically this is what the box would look like. So if you wanted to uh, cancel all of this stuff here, you could just choose Hidden. You could select this and choose Hidden. You could change this to any image you want. I could put my picture of myself here if I wanted to. I could get rid of this phone number box. I can change the text on this by coming over here and just uh, you know click to get started anything you want, and then click publish or save and then publish. And then what will happen here, let's see if it'll let me save it. Now it's going to make me complete the box. So I'm going to close this, discard, go back to my settings of my existing one. So basically, this is a image. So, I've, for, so for link type, I chose image, and then I selected the image from my computer. You could pick any one of your images that are within your lead pages account, or you can upload them. And then, let's see, they're showing you a, a preview of the element. I don't know why this is here because uh, it's a different image. But anyway, this code right here, all you do is paste this code onto your site wherever you want this button to appear. So in this case, it's, it would just be underneath this video. And then, bam, this image appears. They click it. They opt in. Boom. And now you have a lead box on your, any website that you have, your blog, your corporate site or whatever, and people can opt in to get your free thing. And the reason I like this, other than the fact that it helps boost conversions because it's a two-step opt-in process where they actually have to click first and then opt in, lead pages, with all the data they have, 
they've uh, they proved that this two-step process does increase conversions versus just having your email form somewhere on your site or in this case under this video. Uh, so that's why I like it. And another thing is because you can, like I said, you can customize the image. So if you have a real beautiful looking corporate type website, but you still want to build your email list from your visitors, just build a really nice image that says, hey, uh, click here to get a free brochure or click here to get a free white paper or free information or whatever it is. Someone clicks that, they opt in, bam, they're on your email list. And now you can follow up through uh, your autoresponder and build that relationship and generate some sales. So uh, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you want to get access to lead pages, you can go to tryleadpages.net or you can click the link below this video. I think you can get a start at like 37 a month or if you buy it for the year, it's like 25 a month or something like that. Um, but yeah, lead pages is a really great service. You'll like it. So uh, that's it. I'll talk to you next week. See ya.